Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video all about my hair. So basically I have basically changed up my routine of what products I use um, to make my hair this kind of ashy, silvery grey colour. So I've been toning my hair for quite a while now. I've been doing it since last August I think. Um, so basically I've been trying a bunch of new products and trying out what the best ones are. So this video is going to be about the best hair toners and best purple shampoos that I've tried. But the L'Oreal Silver Expert Shampoo, which I will leave a little picture on the screen so you can see it, that's basically what I've been using um, since last year to tone my hair. But what I've been doing, I went on Google and was typing in what the best purple shampoos are, like because I kind of feel like I want a bit more of a stronger colour. So, the Lee Stratford Bleach Blondes um, Shampoo. As you can see, I've used a ton of it, so I can fully say what I think of it. This has been recommended as one of the best purple shampoos. Um, what I will say, it is a very, it has a slight pink tone in it, a uh, purpley, burgundy, sort of pinky colour in it. Um, I do find the best purple shampoos are really, really dark purple. Um, for this, I think it's great if you've got bleach blonde hair. Um, if you go for like a silver grey colour, then I probably wouldn't recommend this shampoo. It does work and brighten and does brighten up your hair, but like I say, I think this is best for bleach blonde hair. It does have a weird consistency as well. It's almost like a kind of jelly type formula. It's really kind of a weird shampoo, but um, I would recommend this if you just have bleach blonde hair and you just want to take out any sort of brassiness. I also link all the prices on the screen as well so you can see how much they are. So the next recommended shampoo was the um, Clairol Professional Shimmer Light Shampoo for blonde and silver hair. Now this is amazing because you get 473 millilitres so it is a huge huge bottle. So when I use this, um, this has like a pearly um, mauvey texture to it if that's sounds weird and I know it sounds weird me talking about the texture and colour of the shampoos but for me I think it's really important because that is how I find um, what works best on my hair is when I see the sort of colour and texture so this one is like a pearlescent bright purple and this does work really well it really does make my hair really ashy and it is great because it is for silver hair as well so I would recommend this one I do much prefer this turn to the Lee Stratford one and this was only nine pounds, I believe. So this is to lather on and leave it on for three to five minutes. Um, I do find the longer you leave purple shampoos on or toners, you get a stronger effect. So that's a little tip there. Yeah, I actually would recommend this one. It is a very good one. But these next two ones are actually my favourite that I tried of the ones that have been recommended. So this next shampoo is the Bleach London Silver Shampoo, which you can buy in Boots and Superdrug. Can't remember how much I paid for this, but again, I will leave it on the screen. It says this dismisses brassy tones and eliminates unforgettable yellow. So this does really work. It really does give you that ashy blonde colour. Definitely notice the difference when I use this. It really does make my hair a kind of silvery colour. My only negative for this is 250 millilitres. So I think it's a very, very small bottle. Um, it would be great if they did bigger bottles of this because, you know, you will get through this quite fast. You can definitely see why this silver shampoo is highly recommended and is one of the top ones because it is really, really good. And they do all kind of different colour toners as well. The formula of this one is basically like a really runny and it's quite like a really dark blue colour. And I do find that the dark blue ones work wonders for like if you want that kind of silver grey colour. So my ultimate favourite purple shampoo that I have been using so much and I would highly recommend this above those other three that I spoke about even though the last two I do really really love as well um, but this is the Fudge Clean Blonde Shampoo and it is a violet toning shampoo removes yellow tones from blonde hair this was highly recommended and I'm so glad I got it but I did buy it from eBay because I couldn't find it in Boots and Super Drugs so I went online and again, I will leave how much I paid for this on the screen so you can see it. And um, basically you get 300 millilitres here, so it's actually a really big bottle. But what I loved about this as well, you can actually get salon sizes of this, so you can get really huge bottles. So you can get that in like the L'Oreal Silver Expert one as well, like the really big ones. So I'm definitely going to get myself a really big salon size, because then I will never ever run out. So this shampoo says to lather on and to leave on for five minutes. 
But yeah, as this is a violet toning shampoo, that's what really gives you that kind of silver, ashy effect. It is really strong. Colour of this one is a really dark purple with a bit of dark blue in as well. So you put it on your hair and rub it in. You know when sometimes you lather things in and you can almost... goes too foamy and you kind of can kind of see through your hair, if that makes sense. See through your hair. Um, what I'm trying to say is the colour is so dark you cannot see your hair. It really does look like... It's proper toning every sort of strand of your hair. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever, but basically this is the best purple shampoo that I have used at the moment. So moving on to hair toners. So not only do I use purple shampoo in my hair, but I also use um, silver hair toners. Lately I've been using like one every week. The one I've always used is the Jerome Russell Blonde Silver Maximum Colour Toner. So as you can see, it just comes in this small bottle here and you get 75 millilitres in here. I normally find a whole one does my whole head. Um, I have got very thin hair anyway so I could possibly halve it but I like to get sort of the maximum kind of colour results. It says it lasts up to eight washes and I do find with a lot of um, hair toners claiming they last up to like eight, ten washes. I find they do kind of rinse out quite fast so that's why I always do you do um, put one in once a week just because I do find that the colours do tend to wash out a bit when you've washed them. But yeah this was the one that I first used and I fell in love with it. It gives you a really light, it really does lighten your hair and gives you that silver effect. Um, I wouldn't say it gives you any sort of tint of grey but it does give you that um, silver effect. So yeah I do still use this hair toner um, Especially when I don't want too much grey in my hair, then I go back to this. But lately I've been wanting a bit more grey in my hair. These two hair toners that I'm going to show you are the ones that I've been using most recently. So the hair toner that I've got in my hair at the moment, and this is basically I did my hair last night. So I'm just going to give you up close kind of colour guys. You can see my ends take super well and it is got that kind of silver grey effect to it. So I'll just stand up as well, just so you can see the full colour of it. And so it is the Shades London Conditioning Hair Toner in the colour Silver Lining. So this box just looks like this, and I bought this from Savers. Now what I will say is at the moment you can only get it on Savers, which drives me nuts because I, when I first tried this on and loved it, I went back to get more and they were sold out. I tried another Savers and they were sold out in there as well. So that was annoying. It was almost like this just got discovered and everyone was just buying it. So the last time I went in I picked up like five boxes of it because I was so scared that I wasn't able to buy it again. And this was only £3 I believe. There is a little colour guide at the top so you can see the before and the after. So I'm hoping that my hair, as you can see on the colour guide, is more that colour than that colour. This is what the hair toner actually looks like inside. So you get 75 millilitres in here and this does my whole head again. Basically you tail dry your hair and then it says to leave on for around 10 to 15 minutes. So the first time I used it I put it on for 15 and the results were amazing. Um, but last night I actually left it on my hair for 30 minutes um, just to see if it would take any better. Um, this definitely gives you that silver effect with a tint of grey. I don't want my hair to look too grey, but I want it still a little bit grey if that makes sense. So kind of like a silvery grey. Well, this um, Shades of London is literally dark blue. I feel like there is no, there is basically no purple in it whatsoever. So that's what gives it that really grey effect. So this hair toner is definitely stronger than the Jerome Russell one cannot tell you how much I love this hair toner like it's given me the perfect color that I wanted and trust me I have tried so many hair toners and, and the reasons that I'm not mentioning them is because they didn't really do much to my hair but honestly I'm so happy with the color of my hair since I've been using this as I said as it was so hard to pick up one week I was panicking and I needed to find another hair toner so then I found this other one which is called creative image adore and this is in the shade 155 Titanium. So this is a shining semi-permanent hair colour. And you get 118 millilitres. It didn't come in a box or anything, it just looks like this. When I first picked this up, I did actually buy the colour Platinum instead of Titanium. And that one, I will put a picture on the screen. But basically, 
if you really like grey hair then pick up that one because it made my hair so grey and it had a blue tint in it and um, to be honest I wasn't too sure about it everyone was complimenting me saying they liked the colour but to me I feel like it did darken my hair because it gave that sort of um, dark grey effect um, but I would recommend that because that took ages to wash out um, so after trying the platinum I then went in and I bought the titanium so basically I picked this up in a hair extension shop and this hair extension shop doesn't just sell hair extensions they literally have shampoos, hair dyes, um, makeup, they sell everything in there and I also looked it up online and you can actually buy um, this brand online as well so if you do want to get this don't think it's hard to get you can get it on eBay so this color titanium is perfect for me honestly it gives me such a gorgeous grey silver effect and I feel like it does sort of look like the bottle shade as well so overall the two hair toners I've been using is Shades London and Creative Image so the purple shampoo that I've constantly been using is Fudge Clean Blonde Violet Toning Shampoo I forgot to mention I think this was around £3 it was so so cheap and all these products don't have any alcohol or peroxide in so none of them are like damaging they're perfectly safe to use on your hair so that completes um, my favorite purple shampoos and hair toners um, let me know in the comments box if you recommend a certain hair toner or shampoo because like I said I've been addicted to trying all new ones and this has took me a long long time to do this video because I didn't want to just put something up and then later on um, not enjoy the product so basically um, this has been over the space of a few months that I've been collecting and spending quite a bit of money on shampoos and hair toners so yeah I thought I would do this video and show you um, basically my new hair routine um, but yeah thank you for watching and I will leave a link on the screen of how to get silver blonde hair at home without bleach that was the first sort of hair video I did about silver hair if you want to watch that and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.